But first, if you've seen random city objects covered in ornate yarn patterns and wondered what they were, you're in luck. Arts correspondent Angel Ido introduces us to Chicago's Yarn Bomber and shares how a favorite pastime led her to beautifying the city. Meet Valerie Sherman. It's an easy craft to do that a lot of people already know how to do. I think it's a very Midwestern craft. And it also just makes things cozy. Also known as the Yarn Bomber. Initially, um, it was just something that I had heard others, I had heard about others doing. I found some websites in Chicago that showed other people doing it in other neighborhoods all around the city. And I was like, I have to do that. I want to do that. Her first bomb hit the city in November of 2019, which led her to putting up bombs made of acrylic yarn on a weekly basis. Now, Valerie's yarn bombs have exploded all over the city from buildings to bike posts to even bicycles. Nothing is off limits. Once she started to get more notoriety, Sherman redirected her work to the south and west side, like at the Forum in Bronzeville. They were talking about how to continue to beautify and expand this neighborhood without necessarily gentrifying and things like that. So I asked them what I could do. So. We decided to do the facade of the forum and kind of reflect the existing art that was on the building. And I think we've raised about $3,000 last time I checked for um, the specific renovation of the place. This past Earth Day, Sherman created bombs for Southside Blooms, a community-run farm-to-vase florist. She also saw it as a great opportunity to educate the public. Each of my uh, Earth Day yarn bombs, like you could have like a QR code that would bring you to a different cause for Earth Day. So like the bee panel, it was like save the bees. But that isn't the only resource she provides. Sherman also donates any money she makes directly to the community organizations she works with, even though the pieces only last from about six months to a year. It is not designed to be forever. It is supposed to be taken down. Um, and so you don't, you don't put the same level of effort into it necessarily. That's why Sherman makes an effort to keep up with her bombs as they get dirty and fade from sunlight exposure, sometimes with help from a few fans. They'll post a picture of it to the South Loop neighborhood page and they're like, Yarn Bomber, like, where are you at? Like, this, you know, it's, it's, it needs a fix or something. So it's like this bad signal. I'm like, I'll be right there. While the yarn bombs have brought many opportunities, Sherman says she is especially grateful for the chance to work with communities again. It brings out people in the community who do knit and crochet, who can add a piece to it. This is a way to get involved in a piece of public art that is something you do that you didn't think was art, but it totally is. And so the ownership of that, people have really enjoyed doing that. Every neighborhood has like rusty pipes or like sad looking bike racks. To change that into something um, like bright and fun, I think um, every neighborhood loves that. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ido. All right, I'm going to be on the lookout for yarn bombs all over the city now. And as for the old bombs, Valerie upcycles them to create pillow stuffing for animals at local shelters. And if you're interested in touring her yarn bombs around the city, visit our website for more information.